Former Canadian Health Minister Ujjal Desang and current MP for Vancouver South has appeared on CNN uh, twice this week. He joined uh, Rick Sanchez. He joins me now uh, from Vancouver. And Mr. Desang, I know you could hear what Ms. Holmes is having, uh, what she said. And she said, listen, it was about wait time for me. I couldn't afford to wait. And if I did, I wouldn't have made it. Your response? Well, there's no question. Uh, sometimes there are weights. Um, I think one of the things that we need to keep in mind is that uh, 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 that Miss Holmes may be an exception to the rule. Uh, we shouldn't let uh, extreme exceptions that can happen in any system define the entire system. We, uh, according to her, have a wonderful healthcare system, and what we need to do is improve it. Um, and uh, and uh, I believe uh, you know I don't want to be discussing her case. I'm not I'm not aware of her case. Mm -hmm. But my sense is that uh, that doctors, uh, whether they are in the states or in Canada, take the same Hippocratic oath, and uh, the uh, urgent and uh, emergent issues are treated uh, fairly quickly. Uh, as I as I've said many times, I came to this country in 1968 just at the beginning of Medicare, and I have had three sons born and raised here. I have three grandchildren. Uh, I have never had to pay one red cent uh, to have them treated, and I've never had any problems. I've not always been an MLA either or MP either. Uh, the U.S. president is going to take to the airwaves tonight in a prime time address uh, at the cornerstone of that address, health care, uh, this bill that he's trying to get through. Some are calling it his Waterloo. What would you advise uh, the U.S. president to put in that speech? What needs to be there? I think what needs to be there is the universality uh, that that every American uh, would get treatment. Uh, obviously, there are going to be difficulties. I can tell you they should learn from our experience. For the last 12 or 13 years, we've had surpluses. We spend almost half of the GDP that they spend on health care, and yet we have better outcomes uh, in our entire country. We spend 10% of our GDP on health care. They spend about 17 plus 3% of their GDP goes on litigation when the HMOs uh, don't want to pay uh, your reasonable expenses for health care. Uh, I think that they need to learn that you can manage uh, within the economy that you have, you can manage a better, more universal, more accessible health care for all uh, the citizens of the United States of America as we do in Canada. Yes, we need improvements and we should be working hard to make improvements to our system. Mr. Desange, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.